perfect. What's up, y'all? It's just Tasha People. Y'all can call me Tasha. If you are new here and you like what you see, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Also, follow me on TikTok at Mama's Boy. Today, I got Puerto Rican food, y'all. I asked you guys what you wanted me to try. Mofungo, of course. I had to get Mofungo because I've heard about it for years, never tried it. This is the star of the show. I got some pernil. This is pork. This is roasted pork shoulder, you guys. So Mofungo, let me tell you, if you don't know, this is some green plantains, salt, garlic broth, and all that good stuff. And then I have... Alcapurias. If I'm not pronouncing it right, y'all go ahead and tell me down in the comments how to pronounce it, okay? And this is a street food. It's fried fritters made from a dough of root vegetables and green bananas and it's filled with meat. This, this is beef. And this is a cod fritter. This is orange juice and evaporated milk. I can't wait to try it. And I got my little Belizean heat. First thing I'm gonna do is get into this mofungo. I've been waiting for years to try this. Ooh, and it's hard to get into. This is my first time trying Puerto Rican food. I am excited. I love Puerto Rico. I've never been, but I love it. And I love Puerto Ricans. Y'all can have a bite. This is how it looks. Mm. <clears throat> That's good. Mmm. I got mofongo with stewed chicken or chicken stew. That's good. Mm. I like that though. So, this is kind of hard. I thought it would be softer. It has a texture of. Mm. Mm. That's good though. This drink is called Mora Sanando. Mm. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna leave that to the side for a second. Let me go ahead and try this fritter. Where is this, y'all? Oh, that's fishy. I don't like this. I don't like this. Of course, I don't hate it because I'm still eating. Maybe I need some. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes better. This almost tastes like ketchup and mayo mixed. I think this came with the fritters. Cause it gives it a completely different taste. It tones down the flavor. This fritter is very um, fishy. Oh yeah, I like it with that. I had to go get some homemade juice, y'all. Cause oh, I wonder how this would taste with some garlic on it. Let me see. Oops. So. I haven't been to Puerto Rico, you guys, but I want to go. When I was younger, I had a crush on Rosie, Rosie Perez. I'm about to say Rosie O'Donnell. It wasn't Rosie O'Donnell. Mm. I had a crush on Rosie Perez. A big crush. White man can't jump. I think I watched that movie a hundred times just so I could see her nipple. Okay, because she showed it. Sad. Sad little kid. And let me try this other stuff. Another lady I had a crush on. Hold on, let me try this pork. This is the bis. I'm sorry, this is the pernil, like I said. Mm. Oh, I like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this rice is well seasoned. Mm -hmm. mm. 
It was good. I also had a crush on a Puerto Rican princess, Jocelyn. Not as a kid, as an adult. I don't know if she's a Scorpio. Cause she nasty. But that's her business, not mine. Okay. This is good. Um so far this is my favorite. This is good also. But it's pork. It's porking. And these plantains are good. I hope y'all doing good today. I'm doing great. Um, yesterday was the anniversary of uh, the one year anniversary of Queer Aunties where I met Fallon. And I didn't meet her on the first, um, the first meet, the first um, Queer Aunties, but I met her at the second one. I ended up not going because I don't know. I was tired. I didn't feel like going. Mm. I should have tried this without. Uh. Mm -mm. What is this? Let me try it again. I felt like I tasted Okay. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's this sauce. Maybe it doesn't go with this. What is this bread? Mm. This is a little bit greasy. I don't care for the way this is seasoned, the meat, but I'm still eating it, so I, I think I like it a little bit. I do like it. This is it for me. This is it. This is delicious. I'm going to try it with some hot sauce. No, I'm thirsty. So, I think I already told you guys that I'm going to Ohio on the last video. And I'm also going to Atlanta, so. Hopefully I get to see some of y'all. Now I know for sure, July 13th, I'll be in Ohio. I got a one-way ticket, so I'm not sure when I'm leaving. But I'll be there at least until the 17th. So at least four days, but I think maybe a little bit longer. And then I believe I'll be going to Atlanta after that. All right. Mm. Hold on. All right, she says, hey Tasha, I'm almost 35 years old, July 7th. Um, but I have been with my other half for 13 years. And I have a lot of health problems. No, I haven't gotten that far to need a caregiver, but pretty soon I will have to do dialysis. And even though I love my mate and I know he loves me, I don't want to put my health problems on him. His daughters are like my own and two of them also have health problems. So do he in this situation, I don't know whether to go or stay. Oh, so basically you have, you're on dialysis Oh, you will have to do dialysis. And he has children who are also sick. And you want to know if you should leave. For one, why? Why would you leave? You have somebody that's willing to help you. And that's it. You just, you, you're feeling bad, but he's there. He wants to be there or he would leave. So no, you don't leave. If he wants to go, he can go. But he's there for you right now 
he he's loving you he's taking care of you if it's too much for him he'll let you know or you'll know you'll see it don't feel like a burden when you're not i think a lot of people feel like you know they want to run away you feel like you want to run away if you feel like you aren't giving what you should be giving or but it's very simple to me if he wanted to be free of taking care of somebody that he loves he would be the door is there so no stay and i mean your daughters are like his daughters i'm sure he appreciates that they have a mother in you you're valuable to him and he's valuable to you there's no reason for you guys to separate. All right. I want you to listen. The fact that you're struggling doesn't make you a burden. It doesn't make you unlovable or undesirable or undeserving of care. It doesn't make you too much or too sensitive or too needy. It makes you a human. Everyone struggles. Everyone has a difficult time coping. And at times we all fall apart. During these times, we aren't always easy to be around and that's okay. No one is easy to be around 100% of the time. Yes, you may be, yes, you may sometimes be unpleasant or difficult. And yes, you may sometimes do or say things that make the people around you feel helpless or sad. But those things aren't all of who you are and they certainly don't discount your worth as a human being. The truth is that you can be struggling and still be loved. You can be difficult and still be cared for. You can be less than perfect and still be deserving of compassion and kindness. For you, but I wanna add, to be more specific to you, this thing that you're struggling with, he's choosing to be here, okay? He chooses to be with you and he doesn't have to be. He wants to be there. He obviously do does. So don't make yourself think that you're not worthy. You're not worthy of care. You're not worthy of somebody to help you. You're not worthy of somebody to take care of you. I'm sure that you take care of him in ways that he needs to be taken care of, right? So love yourself, give yourself grace, Pray, meditate, you're here for a reason and I thank God for you. I'm sure he thanks God for you and I'm sure his daughters thank God for you. With that being said, I love you. He loves you, they love you, we all love you. We love each other and bye.